Hey guys, welcome to the Gamers Brewery. We're playing Playdead's Inside. Uh, this is kind of like the successor to Limbo. I don't think it's a direct sequel. It might be though. Look, looks like a Criterion Collection cover. <laughs> so, have you guys played this game at all? No. I don't play games. <laughs> we both know that's not true. We're playing Inside. This is a fantastic game. Uh, I bought it day of, beat it day of, honestly, it's really short, but it's good. If it loads, we will see it. I'm done. Where's your dramatic music, Matt? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I was fighting with my timer. Wow. Man, we barely even started. We're already having technical difficulties. All right, Playdead's inside. Let's do this. It's a new phone. <laughs> Don't blame the phone. You just. A I do blame the phone. You're a scrub. All right, so it's it's a puzzle platformer game, and um, the story is completely inferred. So they don't tell you anything. They don't tell you how to play. They just they just drop you on drop the you end. in. Yep. And I think I saw a video. About this game, uh huh. And I just, I just remember hearing it was good. It's so good. Let, let's see what happens. Did you guys ever play Limbo? I started playing Limbo. Okay, this is it's like Limbo. Yeah, it's just. I mean, I had fun playing Limbo, but then I get frustrated and I'd stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that happens to me sometimes. Oh, they run you over. Nah, it's fine. They're going forward. I don't know why they're back up there. I think it's just to scare you. Are you actually stealthing, or is that uh, an automatic it's, it's action? It's automatic, yeah. He, go, he goes down. So, you, the boy, he'll just do things. He'll like, just do things. Well, yeah, you like right now... Oh, his, that boy ain't right. His, his sneaking down like that, he does that automatically. You don't have to do that. But that's kind of like one way the game teaches you what to do. Oh. It, they'll never, because they never outright tell you what to do, but when you start sneaking, you kind of know, like, oh, I can't be seen here. So do you actually press buttons in this game? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just asking, considering that the boy does uh, his own thing. There's two buttons. Other than movement, obviously, there's jump, and then there's interact, like this. Uh, so it's like a SNES, uh, NES controller. Yeah. Two button platform. Yeah. And that's pretty much all you need for this, but it's a fantastic game. I was I love puzzle platformers, so this game is right on my alley. The original, the the uh, what's it called? Limbo. We we're just talking about it. I love that game. I played that game so many times. So I see that you grab that box pretty quickly. Uh, how many times have you played this game? I've only played it twice, actually. Okay. Yeah. First time. How long did it take you to figure out that you needed that box? I found out right away. Okay, just curious. Yeah, no, no, no I'll, I'll show you the the. There's maybe like two puzzles that had me stumped. I, I don't think the puzzles in this game are very different. Whoa! Whoa. Uh, one one thing this game is really good about is uh, timing. There are a lot of close calls like that. You know, like they had to like perfectly time. Uh, the events that, that happen in the game. You can't get killed by that dog if you fuck up. Hmm. Ah, I didn't fuck up. Yet. No. You, you champion you. Oh, Vanessa's sick right now. Oh yeah, you have to excuse <laughs> Vanessa's stuffiness. She has a stuffy nose. I hope I don't get sick, because I sleep next to her. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I've been offering the solution all along. I sleep with you guys just in the middle. Got the perfect solution. You know, in, in this situation, I might... <laughs> Jeez. I don't want to get sick. You're such a ween. Yeah, dude. I have yeah. things to do. So do I. But you're already sick. I am not. No, I'm actually very happy to be sick right now. Vanessa recently got a new job. And I hate which it. she no no, which she loves and she loves her bosses and their intelligent people. Yes, they are great. Yeah. This is the internet, Vanessa, come on. 
The internet doesn't know who I am. <laughs> it can't be tied to anything. Guy Fury got a new job. <laughs> <laughs> We will refer it's not to, what it says on my contract. We will refer to each other as our... Random online personas? Yeah, <laughs> random online personas. Yeah, don't do that. Aliases. <gasps> can those dogs kill you? Yes, too? they can. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, that's another uh, uh, example of how perfectly I like the water. Like the water looks... Alright, I'm also gonna... Sh this, cool. I'm gonna go get the first uh, secret in this game. So, all the secrets are tied to... Uh, Achievements. So, and I'll probably be going for all of them. Uh, if I can remember where this one is. I think it's way over here. Um, you can drown, so. Oh, you really? see that? Yeah. yeah, you see that yellow cable? Yeah. That yellow cable always points out where the secrets are. And uh, I don't think I'll be, yeah, I won't, it's not activated. Normally it'll be glowing. It'll be uh, glowing green and you interact and then you pull the core out. Since I already got it, but I haven't looked at the secret ending yet, um, it's not there, but that's the first one. Huh. For anyone looking for it. They're actually, they're not that hard to find. Actually, if you go into uh, the achievement uh, name and description, we'll give you clues as to how to find them. So I was able to get all of them on my second playthrough without looking at a guide or anything. If you're the kind of person that likes to go through that stuff. Completionist and whatnot. You lost me, so why couldn't you get that right there? Because I've already gotten it, and normally they reset after you... You have to get all of them, and then go through the secret ending to uh, to reset them. Okay. But I haven't looked at the secret ending, so I haven't reset them. So uh, That was it, but I couldn't reactivate it because I've already activated it. Actually... So are you planning on doing this as a... 100% like to show them where everything is. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go I'm going to go through every secret. Okay. Uh it's not like it's no Donkey Kong. It's not going to take me out of the way very much. All right. There's I I just want to know how to title this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's like 13 or 14 of them. But yeah, it's going to be 100%. I'm not going to show the secret ending either. Speaking of which, we'll get back to Donkey Kong eventually. Eventually, <laughs> when we find the time, because seriously, everyone's gotten so we just busy. Don't lately. have the time to go back to it. Uh, there's oh man, I want to go back to Zelda. I want to go back to Doom. Batman. 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 Yoshi. Yeah. Yoshi. They just announced Yoshi for the 3DS, and we haven't played it again for the longest time. No. Or we'll get back to that stuff, guys. We will. I'm looking There's something glittery. Uh, it wasn't glittery. It was a. Uh, we, we'll see it right now. I'm looking for the second secret. It's somewhere around here. Where is it? There it is. Hold on. It's it. There's a hatch here, but you can't be standing on it, or else it'll. Oh, there you go. Okay. So there's a hatch in this cornfield, this is where the second secret is, and actually it's also where the secret ending is, which I'll show you what I mean. So the second secret right here, same thing, you would in, uh, hold the interact button, you pull out a little core thing, and that's the second one, second achievement, second secret. And this right here is where the secret ending is, you have to pull this a certain way. I actually don't have it memorized, so I'm not going to show it now. Also because I don't want to end the game <laughs> right now. <laughs> But that's where you would find it, after you've gotten every collectible. Have you gotten every collectible? Yes. That's what you're seeing right there, Vanessa. The little... Oh. On the floor, you see yeah. them? They're little chicks. Oh. Is that a hint at all, or is that just for... Uh, they're for a puzzle that's coming up. They follow me, they think I'm their mother. Oh. How nice. Actually, I don't really know why they're following me. Well, I like that idea. You're there's kind, you're there's kind of motherly with your beard. There's there's a lot of unexplained in this game. I'd leave some eggs in your beard. That's gross. <laughs> why? Because it's like nothing. Never mind. I mean, don't you think his beard would make a nice soft nest for my eggs? <laughs> I feel like you're just gonna like sperm on his face. <laughs> All right, those are seeds. Those are seeds, yeah. Not well, you know eggs. what? You don't have eggs, Matt. Oh, well, what if I was a bird? You'd only fly away. 
<laughs> would I know where my home was? I don't know. <laughs> probably wouldn't have one. <laughs> and all I need from you is... <laughs> that was fun. I don't know if that was intentional with what you said, Vanessa, but... You actually hit the lyric pretty well. <laughs> Did you have any idea that we were recording a song, Vanessa? Yeah. Did yes, you have I, I know what song you're talking about, <laughs> okay. but... And I shoot the birds! I just shoot the birds to knock down that hay bale. And that one's dead. Oh. You killed the birdie? Just one of them. It was a necessary sacrifice. For the greater good. For the greater good, yeah. Which, I don't know what this boy is doing. So like I said, there's a lot in this game that's like completely unexplained. You kind of have to infer it. Ooh, look. A yellow wire. You know what that means, kids. What does it mean? It means there's a secret. Um, there's a lot in this game that's kind of inferred. But nothing that's explicitly said. So I haven't I haven't looked up any like theories as to to what's going on in this game. Uh, but sheep. It's very interesting. Are those sheep? Yeah, those are sheep. I think, or maybe pigs. I think they they might be pigs, actually. Ooh, ah. And here's number three. And you really fucked that one up. <laughs> Same thing, interact, pull the thing out. And that's it. Alright. They're sheep. They might be. Here's, here's a bunch of dead pigs, so oh. that's why I think they might be pigs. You know, sheep and pigs are natural enemies. <laughs> More on that next time on the Gamers Brewery. See you guys later. Bye!